Well, uh, I'm an attorney. I'm a certified financial planner. I'm part of uh, Amicus Settlement Planners. We do settlement planning for plaintiffs generally. So everything from structured settlement annuities to special needs trusts to helping attorneys pay less in taxes. So if you're an attorney and you're paying more in income taxes than you want to be paying, we should be best friends. Um, just want to introduce kind of this, ab this Amicus webinar series. So every few months, we're going to have experts in various fields relating to law firm productivity, things that you're interested in, kind of come on and share, share their secrets with our group and with our list. Um, we're super excited today to have Philip Fairley of the Rainmaker Institute. He's the president of the Rainmaker Institute. He's worked with law firms for over 20 years to help them grow their practices. And specifically today, he'll be talking about using videos to do that. So before we dive into the presentation, um, a few housekeeping items. If you have questions for Philip, you can go ahead and put those in the chat box. And then, you know, he's gonna save some time at the end of his presentation for Q and A. And so we'll try to get to those. And then he's gonna go for about 40, 45 minutes and then hopefully take some questions. So. Without further ado, um, Phil, Philip, take it away. Thanks for being here. Hey, Greg, really excited about this. Um, and like Greg was saying, use the chat, not the Q&A, use the chat because I monitor that. And I like to answer questions as I'm talking along and kind of make this interactive because I've seen if I get some more interaction, then you actually get the questions answered why you came here, right? Instead of just me speaking all the time. Um, so really excited about teaching this um just put the final touches on this because guess what things change all the time just put the final touches on this yesterday but i gotta tell you this is the biggest opportunity for law firms since google local service ads came out a handful of years ago and that's why i'm so excited about this so hey monica how are you doing um uh, already got somebody there in chat oh and if you can i believe most of you guys are personal injury attorneys but if you want to just put in your name and your city in your practice area, if it is PI, that would be great because I can tailor some of the con conversations because different practice areas, typically, you know, they, they have some different strategies sometime. Um, so if you can just go ahead and put in chat your name, your city, your practice area, Kent, awesome, Connecticut, fantastic. I'm a New England guy. I love it. Um, so if you guys just interact that way with chat, I think it will be a lot better experience. You'll learn some more. So let's get ready to jump right into this. Um, not sure if you guys know anything about Rainmaker, but I wanted to share a couple things um, about Rainmaker just to familiarize yourself if you're not. Um, we are the nation's largest law firm marketing company, um, and we've been working with clients, actually over 20,000 attorneys since 1999. Um, some people call us crazy. Um, some people call that success. I call it somewhere in between, right? We've spoken at over 35 of the largest state and local bar associations, a lot of them for CLE credits. We're nationally recognized experts in marketing lead conversion and intake. That's what we focus on. We've also developed the only lead conversion system, the automated system with AI. We call that Turbine to turn your leads into clients. And then we've also developed the only law firm business intelligence platform. We plug it into law firms so you can run your business with numbers. We call that um, Rainalytics. Yeah, neat little name with that. We've helped more attorneys grow into seven and eight figure businesses than anyone else. That's the key there to remember. So when you're working with Rainmaker, when you're listening to the strategies we teach, we're not guessing, right? We also run the only practical boot camp dedicated to growing law firms. We call that our Rainmaker retreat. So I'm going to start this off with a case study because I think this is probably the best way to kind of relay the, the, the topic and the content that I wanted to share with you. So I want you to meet Dan. Dan's a good guy. I really like Dan. Um, Dan is in New Jersey. He's criminal defense, and he's also personal injury. And Dan has been in practice for about 15 years. And he was former, before that, he was a prosecutor. Dan's busy. When we came, when we started working together about three years ago, he only had two attorneys and, his, and a partner and himself. But now he's added two more attorneys in there and all the staff. So talk about being a really busy guy right? And plus, he's a new dad. I think he just had his second about six months ago. So thoughts and prayers go out to Dan on that. Um, so he created some videos before because he understood the value of videos in marketing that people want to consume this, right? But he just didn't, he knew things that he wanted to say, but he just didn't know how to script videos. 
he feared looking stupid, right? How many here have pulled up a camera and said, I'm going to shoot a video of myself on my cell phone and thought they were going to look stupid? I'm raising my hand there. And if I was chatting, I'd put in chat. Yes, absolutely. And then when he created these videos, right? Some saw some raise his hand. Some, some people raised their hand there. But then when you create these videos that would take him way too long to create, he had complications editing it. It took forever. So what happened is, great idea, just too difficult. So he just stopped creating. His last video he created was about five years ago. Got some really good views and some clients from it and some interest, but it was just too hard. Busy guy, right? So as Greg was talking to you about uh, a little bit about me before, I am not an attorney. I never had the privilege of going to law school. Um, we'll call it a privilege, but this is my fourth business. And three out of the four businesses have been all in the legal space. So I've been working with attorneys and helping them grow their business since about, I don't know, since a long time ago, right? Just ask my kids. They think I'm real old. So what I want to teach you today, what you're going to learn today, if you stick around to the end, here's what we're going to talk about. Why you must start using video right now. I'm even going to share you the big opportunity, what it, how big of opportunity it is. Well, I'm going to teach you exactly how to record videos. I'm also going to teach you where and how to distribute those videos. And I'm going to share with you something that's really highly confidential. And I'm going to ask you again not to share this, but the universal scripting formula. It took us about 2,000 videos and about two and a half years to come up with this formula. That's why it's really confidential. And it works for everybody. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to share how to become an influencer in your area, not a Kardashian but an influencer in your local area to be the law firm, the go-to law firm in your particular practice area. That's what we're going to teach here today. And this process, it works with every firm that we have taught it. We're talking the shy attorneys that sit in the back of the room that don't even want to answer that would rather be doing paperwork than in court or we're dealing with a client to the boisterous, loud, A-type personnel, everyone in between. This process works for every attorney and law firm that we've ever taught it to. So here's 10 quick reasons why you need video. Um, and I know I normally would ask is, hey, does everybody believe they need more video in their marketing? Well, that's probably why you're here today. So using video increases your sales and conversion by up to 80%, doing the same thing, just adding video. There's a typical, on average, a 586 ROI on business videos. So if you spend $100 on a video, you're going to generate 586% ROI. There's no other marketing that even comes close to this. And I'm going to share how that all works. Plus, videos like pizza. Anybody in here not like pizza? Everybody likes pizza. Everybody consumes video. Everybody wants more video. That's what we do when we're laying down in bed. That's what we do when we wake up in the morning. That's what we do on our lunch break. We consume video. And video, just like public speaking, it builds trust and authority over and over again without you even having to speak to that individual. And guess what? Google loves video. That's a huge reason right there because we all live in the Google world. We just have to play by their rules. 53% more likely to get ranked on the first page when you have video on your website. And it appeals to mobile users radically. And we know everybody's searching the web and looking for things on their mobile versus their desktop at work. They don't even have computers at home anymore, right? 90% of users watch videos on their phone. Video, it needs to be used on all your platforms and all your marketing pieces. And I'm going to show you how you can create content and then, and then distribute it everywhere. Video marketing can explain things, it answers questions, it talks to their why, the pain that they're having in life and how you can solve that and, and the value that you bring. You can, you can relay that really quickly with video. It engages even the laziest of buyers that don't even wanna pick up a phone or read a blog on your website. It's easy to consume video. So if anybody in here have lazy clients, I know I'm not taking to a room full of bankruptcy attorneys here, but yeah, just tell me, right? We all have lazy clients that just want to do the bare minimum, even if doing that, right? It appeals to them. This is the key. Video can be and should be used everywhere. You start with YouTube. You put it in your nurturing emails. You put it on your website, your blog, your social media. You use it everywhere. 68% of consumers prefer, prefer video over reading. And if you just put it in your emails, you're going to average a 19% higher open rate and reduce your unsubscribes by up to 26%. It's the fastest way to grow your revenue than any other marketing 
uh, strategy out there right now. And now is the biggest opportunity for this. So here's some excuses I typically hear. So I wanted to point out the white elephants, plural, in the room before we get uh, into the exact strategies. I don't like the way I look on camera, right? You ever say that to yourself? I don't even like taking pictures on my family vacation, right? Well, join the club. Look here. The vast majority of us are not blessed with George Clooney or Jennifer Aniston good looks. And I know I'm dating myself with the 90s stars, but honestly, I'm not that. Look at me, dad bod, bald, gray hairs. Just ask my teenagers, right? So you got two plans with this. If you don't like the way you look on camera, plan A, suck it up. Get over it ever done something before that made you feel uncomfortable? You pushed through it, like law school, and was happy that you did it? Yeah, here, that, that's your plan A. Plan B, if you're dead set on not being on video, get somebody else in your firm to be the face of your firm, or rather refer to plan A and suck it up. Honestly, that's what you have to do. I'm not good at tech, right? Well, if you can hit record on your cell phone, you're okay with tech. You joined a Zoom webinar. That's the level of technology that you need with this. I don't have time, right? All we're going to ask for is two hours a month. Two hours a month is all you need. If you can't dedicate two hours a month for video, then this is probably not the right webinar to learn how to do it, right? This is going to increase your marketing ROI by up to 500%. Two hours, not a big deal. Calendar it, right? Um, it seems expensive. I got to tell you, it's not. You don't need overly produced high-end videos like some companies want to sell you. Those don't get played. They don't get clicks. They don't get eyes on them. They're too much overproduced, right? But you know what's even more expensive? Missing out on all the lost business. I don't know what to say, right? Well, this is an easy one. What's the top five or 10 questions your potential clients ask you before they hire you every single time? Do a video on each. There's content is ev content ideas is everywhere all around you. And I'll share some of those places to find um, more content and ideas as well. I'll get nervous. I'll say the wrong words. Plan A. That's why you have an editor to edit out those bad words. Plan B. They're very easy to use. Little um, teleprompter apps if you want. But really leave that up to your editors. I'm not creative. I'm not funny enough. Neither are most attorneys. You didn't go to you didn't go to Second City to learn how to be a stand-up. But that's what your editing is for, to make you entertaining, right? So video is attraction of leads. It impacts those people that view those leads. And then it's the number one way to take a lead and convert it into a client using video. How we communicate is vital, and that's why video is so key, because 60% of communication, I didn't know if you know this or not, it's based on tonality. You see, I sometimes you'll see me fluctuate my tonality. Why? It keeps people engaged. They'll remember that, and that's what you can do on video. 30% of communication is based on your body language. You'll see me. I talk with my hands, even though I'm not Italian, right? Body language. That's how we communicate as humans. 10%, only 10%. Remember, you're worried about what to say? Only 10% is based on your content or words. And in fact, the vast majority of you, after the end of this, you won't remember very much what I say. You'll remember a couple topics, but you'll remember the overall ideas, right? Because of the body language. Because it's not what you say, it's absolutely how you say it. So here's where Dan finds his clients. Let's get into the meat of this. He finds them on YouTube, pay-per-click and local service ads. He finds them on social media, YouTube, which is social, and Facebook. He does monthly newsletters that he sends to his clients and his referral partners. He gets clients from his website with his call to action and his videos there. And then he does a lot of drip nurturing to everybody that's contacted his firm. So what type of videos does Dan create? This is a good list to notate because these are pretty much the vast majority of all the type of content videos that you'll need to create. Here's what we call our core videos. These go on your website, your contact us, your about us, about our firm. What we, Those are the core videos. There's usually five to eight core videos that you're going to put on your website, right? And that's key. You've got to put them on your website because people will click on it and look, but you just don't keep them there. You put them in other places too. He creates about videos. Like, no, I went to law school and here's what I do. It's like, here's what our firm does. We help people get a fresh start. We help people get compensation. We help them get Back to even from their injuries. We help protect our your family, right? 
Um, other videos, FAQs, these are magic. What are the 5, 10, 15, 20 questions that people ask your firm and your practice areas all the time? Create a video for each one of them. Why? Because if you're getting asked those questions, there's a thousand people that have looked at your site or have seen your information that didn't get the chance to ask the question, answer it with your FAQ videos. How it works. Here's how we work. We work on contingency. We work on flat rates. Here's how we do that. How it works. People, they don't understand how law firms work. Explain how your firm works, right? Ongoing education. So here's five things you need to know if you're in an accident in Florida, right? Here's three things to know before you get divorced in North Carolina, right? Here, you think workers, you can't file um, a workers comp claim if you've got a personal injury claim. Well, in New York City, you can, right? Educate them, right? Then react videos. This is something that's amazing. I'm going to show you. This is key. This will not drive leads and phone calls, but this will drive people to see your videos and increase all your videos. What I call a react video. So if you're a family attorney, a good react video would be Harry and Megan. They're going to get divorced at some point. People are Googling Harry and Megan all the time. You put it on there. Um, I'm going to tell you about Dan's react video and what that did to all of his other videos that he has created and how it supersized them. So react videos are a key part of your strategy. And then nurturing. This is going to be your biggest ROI. Your marketing doesn't stop when somebody contacts your firm. You've got to nurture them. If they don't set the appointment or if they don't hire you, if they don't show up, if they're still on the fence, you nurture them with videos about case studies. Here's what we do for our clients. And I'll give you a couple of examples of those in a little bit. Okay, so let's talk about scripting and strategy, what to say and how to say it, right? Content is king, but strategy is queen. And you need both a king and queen, because if you've got great content, but you're not putting content out there that people want, you're wasting your time. So I'm going to show you how to script and also how, where to get the strategies for the content ideas. So this next slide here, it's very confidential. I'm going to show you how Dan scripts. This is every month. This is what Dan does. Um, and then I'm going to show, share with you something that's Uber, that ultimate scripting template we have about 15 versions of them, but I'm gonna give you the main version of which you can take and then create your own from there. So here's what Dan does. He strategizes and scripts for about 20, sometimes 15 minutes, but about 20, 25 minutes a month. That's all, remember I told you, it takes two hours a month to be a video influencer in your neighborhood. We help, we work with them, but he also works and helps choose his own topics. After he gets through his core videos, he does his FAQs, and now what's up in the queue next, right? So then he asks, what are some things that clients, potential clients asked me in the last month? He goes to his other attorneys. What are they talking about at the consult? Goes to his intake staff. What are people asking you before they set an appointment? Let's create videos about it, right? And then he also goes, here's a couple awesome sites, VidIQ, write that down. This is gonna tell you what people are searching for and where the gap is for videos that you should be creating in your industry, vidIQ. And then another one, Answer the Public, owned by Neil Patel, a bit, really big marketer. This is what people are searching for and Googling on the internet. This gives you ideas about the topics and the titles and the content you should be creating if you've run out of all the other topics, which usually takes, if you're doing solid video every month, it's gonna take you 12 months to run out of topics that are sitting right on your desk. Right. So Dan also uses our scripting template for every single video. This is the key. So you know exactly what to say and how to say it. Easily take one idea and three bullet points and then create a script in under five minutes. So what I want to do is I want and don't write in long sentences. So I'm going to go to chat. I want everybody to open up your chat. So the first volunteer that's not crazy. Right. Um, Tell me your practice area and put in chat what's one general question. You can get real specific. What's one question a potential client asked you in the last week? I'm going to show you how this works, how you can script this. Anyone? Somebody want to put in chat. What's one client a potential? What's one question a potential client? Will my car insurance? Thank you, Jordan. Um, will my car insurance go up after an accident? Okay. Here's a good way to start with this script. And then I'm gonna share with you the template. Um, did you know that if you get in an accident in Oklahoma, there's a 48% chance your car insurance will triple? That's your attention getter. Here's another one. Tax, how long is this gonna take? 
Did you know if you have a tax problem with the IRS and you don't use an attorney, it can take up to 10 years to resolve your issues? Oh my goodness. If I've got a tax problem and I'm out there searching and researching what I should do, and I've got a tax problem with the IRS and that video popped up, guess what? I'm going to watch it. Right. And then what you do after that is so you have the catch, you have the hook, and then you then you back up and you say, Hello, my name is Philip Fairley, and I'm a tax attorney in Oklahoma City. And what we do is we help people get out of trouble with the IRS, save them money, give them peace of, peace of mind, and take all the stress off your plate. And then you come up with your three bullet points. What are the three reasons that an attorney can decrease the amount of time it takes to resolve your tax issues? And then you ended it up with your call to action. What's your one point? You use an attorney. We're a former IRS agent. We know the people to contact to get this expedited. Two, we will protect you and, 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 and we will be we will represent you and communicate with all the agents behind the scenes even before it gets to the courthouse. And third point, and then you come back and you say, if you're having a problem with the IRS and you're in Oklahoma City, you need to talk to us because this is exactly what we do, help you in these areas. Here's our contact number. That's your script. That's how easy it is. And here's what you do. So I'm going to show you this template. Sorry, Jordan, I know you're in, you're in Florida. I'm just making up stuff, okay? Um, but before I show you this template, I do want to make sure, do not share this with our competitors. Do not share this with your competitors. You can take a screenshot of it or you can take a picture of it, but please, this is intellectual property, right? But I want to give you our best stuff because I want to show you how you can do this all yourself, right? Okay, here's the script. It's that easy. You've got the attention getter. Just what I told you. Hey, did you know that? Right? And then you come in with your question. And then you back up a little bit and then you intro yourself. Right? One of the biggest surprises I see as a tax attorney is blank, blank, and blank. Hey, I'm an attorney from Oklahoma City and this is what we do. Right. And then you come into the body, point one, point two, point three. And if you can use a case study like I'm doing with Daniel, it's a lot more effective. People watch it. And then you do what your outro is. You summarize it up and put your call to action. Simple as pie. So the biggest mistake that attorneys make with video, anybody have any idea? Somebody want to put in the chat, what do you think the biggest mistake is? You can kind of look at the picture. That's kind of a funny picture to me. Anybody under think they know what the biggest mistake is? Too long. Elisa, actually, they should be eight minutes or longer, not more than 10, but they're shorts and longs, two different types. Trying to look too perfect, that's a really big mistake. Too long, great, great questions, uh, great things. Those are all could be problematic, right? No catch, right? No call to action. You don't just educate them. You got to tell them where, yeah, no, but the biggest mistake is making the video all about yourself and your services. This is what we do with in tax law. This is what we do with family um, divorce law. This is how we help. Nobody cares about that. They don't care where you went to school. Sorry. <laughs> they don't even care about what you do. They don't care that you give great customer service. They don't care that you've been a prosecutor and now you've been in practice for 24. They don't care. They want answers to their questions. That's all. Then that builds trust then they get to know you. Then that leads to phone calls and signed contracts. Do not make the video about you. It's all about them. They are the hero in your journey. And your journey is your video story. Make them the hero. Do not make it about you. People will click off it. They won't watch it, period. So here's Dan's um, YouTube channel. So you make it about them. So if you see the gun laws, you need to know in the bottom left corner, um, we put that up in three weeks and he had 5.6 thousand views. Why? Because we made it about them. There was a change in gun laws in New Jersey. Gun laws you need to know, right? Grand jury versus pettit jury. What's the difference? What happens when you endanger a child in New Jersey? These are things that our people are looking for. And then the top right corner, here's the React video. Now he got zero phone calls from this, but he had 7,000 views in less than four days. Because John ja Moran, an NBA player, got caught once in a strip club with a gun. And then two weeks later, he pulled out a gun in another strip club. What an idiot. Dan did a React video. Here's how an attorney breaks this down. 
What about if you're criminal defense, you hear about celebrities getting arrested all the time. If you're in estate planning, what about the celebrities that died without a will that are still battling it out? You, what about Harry and Megan? You know, I just use them because everybody thinks they're going to get a divorce. So people are looking for that. If you're a family divorce attorney, you do that React video. And here's what happens. You get click, click, click all across the country, all across the world. So now he's got 7,000 views on that. And what happens? Then his other videos start playing. And YouTube and algorithm and Google's algorithm, which owns YouTube, starts bringing your videos to the top. And you just get more views across all of them, right? That's the difference. Because if your videos are hidden, what's the point in creating them, right? It's like having a beautiful website or a beautiful storefront on a back alley in the back on, on the wrong side of town. Nobody's going to see it. What are you wasting your time for? Here's how he gets eyes on his videos. One, you got to re remember that video is going to live a long time. YouTube's forever. Websites, they host them indefinitely. Nurturing videos, when you send these nurturing videos out to every lead that contacts your firm, over and over, they're seeing them thousands and tens of thousands of times every single year. Your videos will be seen over and over and over again. And they get to know you. They trust you. You're educating them, right? Newsletter. He puts it in all his newsletters that's sent to his clients, past clients, current clients, anybody that's ever contacted his referral, and also his referral partners. Dan gets about eight to 10 clients every month from referral partners. Why? Because he's getting their newsletter and educating them on what he does with his clients. So when they refer business to him, they know they're going to be taken care of. He repurposes his videos into shorts. You were talking about too long. On YouTube, you want long form. But then if you're doing shorts and reels on social and YouTube, then you take those long forms and you slice them down into little niblets of, of shorts, right? So you use those on social. We also, what Dan does is he transcribes his videos and then we SEO them and he turns them into blogs. So now you've got the video and then you've got the content in case somebody wants to read it and they're SEO ranked. This is where he starts and puts all of his videos, YouTube. This is the second most important use of videos, just that's why I showed you the screenshot. And the first most important use of videos is in your nurturing, right? So YouTube, this can be shot and edited professionally, but right now the videos that are generating the most clients are DIY shots with some professional editing. Don't overproduce it, don't over edit it, don't overthink it, right? Don't make it like an advertisement they would see on TV because they'll fly right by it. Educate them on it, right? Here's why Dan doesn't ignore YouTube. His clients in the age group of 18 to 45, that's 70. Who in here has clients? Put in there if you've got clients in the age group of 18 to 45. Anybody? I know we don't have a bunch of estate and probate um, attorneys in here, but anybody have clients in that range? Yeah, okay, there you go, Daniel, thanks. Uh, appreciate you uh, jumping in there. A little dead sign. There we go. Um, Dondra, I appreciate that as well. But don't ignore it because if you've got clients in this demographic, 75% of YouTube users. He knows it works. Why? Because uh, two, uh, last quarter or last year, quarter four, it generated over $8.6 billion in ad revenue. He, it's the number two search engine. That's why he doesn't ignore it. And it's owned by the number one search engine, Google. 62% of YouTube users access it daily and they spend on average 30 minutes. Don't ignore YouTube because you don't use YouTube or you think it's for young people or you're confused. Don't ignore YouTube. So I want to do something a little different here with this. I'm going to show you the opportunity because I have to tell you right now, video is the craziest, biggest opportunity. Like I said, besides before, all the way, you know, Google LSA ads kind of changed the way we do paid. Um, advertising on Google. This, I think, is an even bigger opportunity. Within two weeks, there's Jerry Maggio right there. Um, within two weeks, Orange County, California, very competitive market for every type, but he's a divorce attorney. One of the most competitive, other than South Florida, one of the most competitive markets is Orange County, um, California. Within two weeks, he, we had him ranked number one on YouTube. Two weeks. So what I want to do is I'm going to stop my share here for a second, and then I'm going to share something else with you. And I hope I can do this smoothly. Um, so let me do this screen share. Okay, I'm going to share my screen over here. You guys see this okay? Give me a give me a heads up if you guys see this okay. Right? Is it good? 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just on YouTube.com. So somebody, let me pull up chat again because I minimized that. Where did my chat go? There it is. Okay, so somebody in here, can you give me um, your city? Somebody throw out your city there and um, I'm going to do something for you. First city up there, I'm going to Google it or YouTube it. Savannah. Well, that's a small market. That should be easy, but I'll do it anyway. Savannah. Um, Deandra, what's your practice area? Let's do personal injury. Oh, oh, good guess. Add, add, add. Two years ago, Savannah, personal injury attorney. Two years was the last video. Let's get bigger. Miami, think anybody watches you? Do you watch YouTube videos to get educated on things? When I was poor, I had no money. When I was just out of college, I changed my starter in my car by watching a YouTube video. I watch YouTube videos all the time. Miami personal injury, super competitive. I know we've got about eight clients in the Miami area alone. And guess what? Not any of them are doing video yet. Okay, nine months ago, nine months ago, two years ago, 10 months ago, this is Miami personal injury. You want me to go to Google and show you what that is? Okay, Com extremely, let's do Dallas. Dallas has some of the highest costs of pay-per-click, truck accident, Dallas, almost a thousand bucks a click. So personal injury in Dallas, that's gonna be loaded, right? Just gonna be one year ago, five years ago, one year, five. If you can't see the opportunity for video, Right now, I can't help you, but my other than showing you some of the most the most competitive practice area, personal injury, and some of the most competitive cities, and nobody's there. Nobody's there. I just like I, I let me stop my share and I'll go back to the uh, um, to my slide deck here um, because I want to. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, that was smooth. Right. Do you guys understand? Do you see the opportunity here? Anybody see this? Not tagging videos correctly, Dondra. No, they're not making videos. They're just not. Right. They're not doing it. Attorneys are scared. I've never seen a grown person crumble over a seven inch piece of plastic and glass other than when they want to try to record a video. That's the big blue ocean. I'm like, my 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 two teenage daughters actually just started high school today, freshman and sophomore, super competitive volleyball club, like national qualifiers, right? I'm not a big fan of participation trophies. You got to earn it. Right now, any attorney that's doing video is getting a participation trophy award. And as a sports dad, that hurts me. But as a marketer, that makes me want to jump up and scream, like just start doing video. It's so, such a big blue ocean of opportunity. And when I say participation trophies, that means clients. That's what it means. That's why this, that's why I'm so passionate. I'm like, want to jump out of my seat, right? Um, another way that they put it on, they put it on social media. So you start with YouTube and then you can slice those up into shorts as well. But then you post those on your, your social channels organically. These are some right now, a new attorney over here. These are all personal injury attorneys right here. Um, in Southern California, um, Armenian company, a lot of Armenians in, the, in that in their um, in their area, and each one of these is their kind of about us video. They put it all on their social media. So now you've created videos, put it on YouTube. Now you got your social media planned out. You got your blogs planned out. That's how you can take video and then create all this content and distribute it under all the channels. Um, monthly newsletter, generate referrals. Dan gets. Mm, five to 10. Sometimes he's got up to 20 from referrals. Why? Because every one of his newsletters, you click on here for the video and it plays. And he sends them to all his re referral partners as well. He sends it out once a month and then you build your email. Everybody who contacted you ever, didn't you have to set an appointment or a client? Past clients, vendors, referral partners, your uncle, your aunt, your neighbor, everybody's on your list. And then you put out videos that are educational to them, right? Nurturing. Now, this is the one I told you is the highest use of value. You get the most immediate ROI with this. Anybody have a question on what I mean by nurturing? 
And when I say that, most attorneys, like I said, think they're marketing stocks when they call your firm. Wrong. It changes, right? It changes from marketing to lead gen to nurturing. And so if they set an appointment, they didn't set an appointment, you have a whole series of messages that goes up. So here's the two biggest opportunities for nurturing. If you're not doing anything with your videos, if you have videos or you want to create videos, at least do these two things after you put it on YouTube. This is what Dan does. For everybody that no hire, that's the people that set the consult, go through your intake, schedule the appointment, they take your time, they go to the consult, and they're like, I still need to go think, go home and think about it. I go home and think about it. Some people call them no hires, whatever you want to call them. A lot of, too many attorneys call them bad leads. But just because they didn't hire you doesn't mean they're not going to hire the next attorney on their list, right? So what do you do? You got to nurture them because not everybody's ready to make the decision right now, right? They're just investigating. They're not sure if they want to move forward. You nurture them. These are your most expensive leads. They've been through, touched everybody in your law firm, except your paralegals, took your time, still didn't hire you. Spent a lot of money on them. You know, one of the fastest way, Dan grew by 30% when he started nurturing his no hires. So he's like, yeah, they didn't hire me now. They know where I'm at. And they're probably not going to hire me anyway. I'm not going to waste my time. I got another consult coming up. So we strung out all of his um, videos about why people wouldn't hire you. And we put the, this is what I've done for this client. This is how I help people. Another video that's content that's related to his practice areas. And they go out thousands of times automatically. So somebody says, as soon as they say, I, I'm not, I, I need to go home and think about it. Then he puts them in that series. And then it's dripped to them over time. Talk about them picking up the phone and calling them back. Dan increased his revenue by 30% just by doing this. It nurtures their why. Don't tell them this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to, you know, litigate your case, right? Why are they here? If it's an accident, to restore them and get them compensation for all of their injuries. If it's family, it's like, I'm here to protect your family and your kid's future or whatever that is. Their why. Why are they really there? And he tells a story every time. Usually he uses a past client anonymously and uses it as a case study, just kind of like what I'm doing with Daniel here. Another way that Daniel nurtures leads is the ones that don't set an appointment. You can actually do this for no hires as well. And he does it for both. This is genius. I stumbled across this idea about, I don't know, about seven months ago. And I've literally been preaching it to everybody I've been talking to. Um, people don't know how the law works. They don't know how the court systems works. It's intimidating and it's scary to them. So he created a video what happens day number one you, when you become a client of the Rosenberg Perry Law Firm? We take everything off your shoulders. We hold your hand and guide you every step of the way. We walk you through your options and we will fight for you. You have a team that's working constantly on your side and you're not in this alone. Tell them what happens when you hire them. Assume that. If you're think about it, if you were looking to buy a, a big service that was impacting your life and you weren't sure, and then you met with them and you're like, yeah, okay, they could be, but I, I, I'm still not sure. And then they sent a message. Here's what it's like to be a client of ours. And you painted this picture of how you're going to help. This is money in the bank. Just do this. Why other law firms aren't doing it, right? These people are confused. Walk them through what it's like to be a client of yours. What happens day number one? We take everything off your plate. Oh my goodness, they want that. You can now sleep well at night knowing that you have a team, right? Speak to their why. I love that strategy right there. Okay, let's switch gears. I'm a little bit behind here, but we're gonna push through this. So I wanna show you how we teach our clients how to actually shoot the videos. So one, you should shut up what we call a shoot room or a location. You take your phone, you turn it around, and you make sure the image behind you is good. You see mine. I don't have a big banner. This is my office, but it's got character. It shows I'm a Cubs fan. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> shows I went skydiving. I traveled the country. I, right? I, it gives a little bit of my personality. So your shoot room doesn't have to. Do not put it in your conference room if it looks like a law library. Don't put all of your certificates in the back of you. In fact, we tell people to kind of move around their office and outside their office and do it at home as well. Um, but if you've got one location with everything set up, you can walk in. And the setup, and I'm going to show you a picture of the setup. It's not complicated, but it helps make it easier. That way you can just jump in your room. Boom, there, I'm ready to go. Equipment. 
not not rocket science. You need a smartphone. Should be an Apple. A lot of the new Androids are, are good on their cameras as well. You need a tripod from Amazon for 25 bucks. And you need a plug-in mic, not a Bluetooth mic, because that's choppy. That's literally like $25 that plugs into your phone, right? That's what you need for equipment. And you need to understand your content. Do not freestyle it. I shared with you a template that you can use over and over for any content. You get that with that template. That will work for a case study. It will work for an educational video. It will work what happens on day number one if you become a client of ours. It will happen for every type of content that you want. So here's the shoot room. Here's the magic. Once again, it took us about 2,000 videos and about two years to figure it out. Now we're four years into it and we've done over 7,000 videos. We know what works. <clears throat> so real rudimentary. I literally snapped this picture of a shot because we have an office in Cal Carlsbad, California, where we have all of our video team. And we I, I was out there a couple of weeks ago and I snapped this picture. So you see a laptop and then you see your tripod with your smartphone. And then behind that, there's a green screen there, but that should be your background. If there's a window, don't shoot with window because your lighting will be bad. You'll be able to see it on your phone, right? But if you can tell, the individual person is sitting there on the screen, on the phone. So what happens is on that laptop, we connect to you via Zoom. This is what we do every month with, Zan with Dan for about a 60 to 90 minute session, one time a month. That's why I said you only need two month, two hours a month, 20 minutes to script, 60 minutes to shoot the videos. Um, and then a little bit of going back and forth, right? So the person, the attorney sitting uh, standing in front of the cell phone camera. The camera is facing back towards the laptop. We Zoom connect to you. So we're able to tell you, hey, move to the right. Come in. Push back for a wider shot. You know what? Move to the left because we're going to put some text over here. You know what? Can you speak more clearly? So we're able to direct you. This is the shoot room. Now, if you're doing this on your own, you take that tripod and instead of a Zoom connection on your laptop, you have your script. This is the magic of it. You have your script. So it's sitting in front of you, what you just typed out on that template. And then you have the camera facing you so you can see yourself. And then what you do is you hit record and you do not hit stop. You just push through it. Do it in 10 minute segments. More than 10 minutes, it it's, takes too long to upload to the cloud. So if you need three takes and it takes you 30 minutes, it shouldn't. But then you kind of stop your stop it around every 10 minute mark. And that's OK if you're not finished with the video. But the key is you start the video and you record. Then you look down at your script, whether you have it printed out or on your laptop in front of you. And remember that statement. Hey, did you know that you have to be legally separated for 364 days in North Carolina before you can actually file for divorce? That was your hook. Or if it was that tax problem, or that insurance problem. So you look down, you got one to two sentences, you go up and then you say your two sentences. You don't hit stop on your camera when you go back down. And then you keep going and you keep going. You have the editor edit all of those things out. That's how you can create and record your own videos. Dan, uh, Dan did five videos last month in an hour. 60 minutes, five videos, right? That's the beauty of this. Any kind of questions? Because I know this one. Any questions on this? Anyone? Does that make pretty, it's not rocket science, but it is confidential. Do not share this because nobody else is doing this. Okay, good. Means I explained it pretty clearly. <clears throat> so video always works. Every time, every law firm, no matter how boring you think you are, or how bad you look on camera. Unless you're just a jerk, if you just talk about yourself, video works every time. Look, I create video all the time. Look, Mr. Dad Bod 101, no hair, gray, bald, the glasses. Come on, I am not photogenic. It works. Here's where most attorneys fail, though. You're not consistent. If you just do one or two of these, well, just do your core videos on your website and then be done, right? If you want to get into social and you want to put in your newsletter and put them on YouTube, if you're not doing two to four of these a month, just don't. If you're not consistent, it's not going to work. Nobody's going to see them. You're not going to get eyes on them unless you're doing them for your nurturing emails, which is very valuable, right? Attorneys also fail at running out of interesting topics. You're like, what do I talk about? Oh, my goodness. VidIQ. 
your last five consults, talk to your intake people, look at your emails. What are people asking you? What do people want to know about your practice area? React videos, pop culture videos to get more views on the rest of your videos. New law change. It just, uh, when you start thinking about content, it's everywhere. Attorneys fail at distributing and repurposing their video. They make it once, they put it on their website. They don't even put it on YouTube or they put it on YouTube five years ago and they don't know what to do with it. And they only got 13 views or 73 views. Well, because you're not distributing it and you're not repurposing it. You create one video and then out of that, you've got 10 to 15 pieces of content that you push out on all your channels that you communicate with people. The biggest thing is I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, right? I'm going to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Two hours, no brainer. I'm in it. I'm going to script it. I'm going to record it. It's going to be great. And then you don't time block it. And then your day runs over you. And then you get a call from an irate client or you better, better yet, you got a new consult last minute, wants to come in, needs to hire an attorney. You're like, yeah, I'm not doing a video. I got money in the bank that's sitting in my office. If you don't calendar it and block it, you'll fail at it. So really you got three options with the video. Learn how to shoot, edit, and script and distribute videos on your own. I gave you the complete starter package. Not all the intricate details. I'm going to show you and get more of those, but you got the overview. Just do it, right? Do it yourself. You can try to hire a local videographer, but the problem is now you need to come out once a month or shoot in blocks for an entire day, which could be a couple thousand bucks just to get them to show up. And then do they know how to edit? The, it's a whole nightmare there, but we have people that do it. Or you can get a complete video education, become that influencer in your city. When I say influencer, I don't mean a million hits and followers. I mean 100, 200 500 views in your local area, people looking for your services that then need your services and then we'll pick up the phone and call you, right? So you see, unfortunately, when we see law firms not growing, I'll be straight up honest with you and that's all I ever be. I'm a straight shooter. A lot of years in Chicago, I got the Chicago way, right? I just give it to you as it is. When we see law firms not growing, it's because the owners aren't growing. And I'm being honest with you here. We've worked with over 20,000 law firms in the last 24 years. We know. We know the magic. We know what the problems are. We know what it takes. You know how to be a great attorney, but do you know how to be a great business owner? Now, because Amicus so greatly, graciously hosted us today, I wanted to offer you something special just for this group. It's a masterclass education creating a law firm that works for you instead of the other way around. See, I can only share, and I only had 45 minutes, and 50 minutes, an hour. We only could share so much today with you on this short webinar. Um, but if you want to talk, I would love to even dive in deeper one-on-one. -on -one. But I have to tell you, if you really want to understand the step-by-step cut-and-paste process to create these five videos in an hour like Dan did last month, plus many more marketing intake and sales information, essentially to learn all of Rainmaker's 24 years of growth strategies, Here's the special offer I want to give to you. We're offering our next Rainmaker Retreat. And I talked to you a little bit about this. This is a business owner's education, a master level education for attorneys in the legal industry. It's not a typical trade show in the legal space. It's not a sales presentation. It's not a trial school. No booths, no nifty little tchotchkes to throw a bunch of vendors like stuff in your suitcase to bring home. This is hardcore education deep dive. We teach you specific strategies on how to be a better law firm owner and to be profitable. So our next retreats in, in August 25th and 26th, it's a Friday and Saturday, right on the Vegas Strip at the Paris Hotel and Casino, right across from Bellagio. The cost for this retreat, early bird pricing, $6.97. Next month, it goes up to $9.97. Here's exactly what we're going to cover. This is not everything. Here's what we covered our retreat. 65 proven digital marketing strategies. Strategies, like I told you, like those nurturing things you copy down, you go back to your office and you just implement it. Seven strategies to dominate Google reviews. We live in a review society. How to become the law firm in your market. This is what I was talking about. We spent about a half a day just teaching you how to create video. Everything I told you now and a whole lot more, including all the templates and scripting right? How to shoot every video in 15 minutes. We're going to run through that whole setup and then exactly how to do it in a lot more detail. 
script any video in five minutes. We're going to be scripting right there at the event and teach you how to script even more appropriately and give you some more templates. Where and how, that's the key, how to distribute these videos, right? 40 ways to fix your intake. Because if you bring the leads to the table and they don't set an appointment, you can't generate revenue. How to differentiate or die. We're teaching a class on how to sell at the consultation. I love this because so many attorneys stumble at the consult when they're asking for the business. We're going to give you the practical use of AI and automation in your firms and the owner's guide, not the technical guide, the owner's guide to SEO, three ways to fix your cash flow, five systems that every law firm needs. In this one, we just added it. How to hire and manage remote staff and reduce your cost to hire a person and employ that person by 30 to 50% off. This is going to be amazing. We're bringing in an expert for this. You can, That's the worst, the price of admission. So here's a couple of bonuses just because you joined us today. If you sign up for the link, you don't even have to come to the Rainmaker Retreat, but I'm going to give you a link here in a second. We're going to give you our YouTube optimization guide. Just so you know how to optimize your YouTube check because it has to be done right or nobody will see your videos. We're going to give you the nuts and bolts of that. Where if you sign up and come to the retreat, we're going to in, we'll audit your intake and your sales. We're not going to tell you how we're going to do that, but then we give you a report and we discuss it of how you can be better specifically for your firm. That's why it's not a big trade show. It's an education, right? We're going to give you a digital marketing audit. Like, where are you in your web, your SEO, your ads? Where are you? And where's the biggest opportunity? So you can go back to your office or your marketing company you're using and tell them these are what we need to do. Early bird pricing, $6.97. But if you sign up through the link I give you, because Amicus so graciously hosts us today, we're going to offer it at $5.97. But this deal ends on the 22nd, just in a couple of days, this discount. So what are you willing to do to get the business that you want? Willing to get a business owner's education to learn what they didn't teach you in law school, learn how to shoot and leverage video, learn how to manage and dominate an intake, learning how to close sales at the console. Here's the link, Rainmaker in the RainmakerInstitute.com forward slash amicus. And I'll also pop this into the chat here in just a second. So before I um before I'm gonna end this here in a second, and I'm gonna be stick around for a couple questions, I just wanted to show you a 30 second video. Um, Daniel, um, you got a cannot miss seminar on the 24th. You know what? We're gonna have one probably in December or January of next year. So Daniel, we're getting, you're gonna get an email, just reach out to me and we'll get you on for the next one. Cause we usually host about two or three of these a year. But here's a little view, an overview of um, our Rainmaker retreats, about a 35 second video. And then I'm gonna come back in with a link and answer any questions. Here's the link again, the rainmakerinstitute.com forward slash amicus. We're also going to send you guys out an email with that. Um, I would love to have you guys there. Um, it will change your life. That's the only way that we've grown more seven and eight figure law firms than any other company in America. It's because we teach you how to be a better business owner and stop being the attorney stuck in the weeds. So thank you guys so much for your time. I'm going to stick around for any questions that anybody may have. Um, and you may want to listen to them because you may be having them as well. I saw somebody raise their hand. Um, let me see if I can go over here to the participants. And Tanya, I'm going to allow you to talk here. Or you can put it in chat if you want. Any questions that anybody else may have as well. I think she's on mute. 
or you can put it in chat. Yes. Um, yes, we're going to have this recorded. And as soon as it comes through, we'll probably send it out. I don't know if it will be today or tomorrow. But absolutely, enough time to still get the uh, discount off. And I got to tell you, the room block at the Paris Casino, like the first night's like $45. And then I think like Friday night's like 120 We got an amazing discount because we do a lot of business with that group. And we've been going there for a long. So please make sure you register. And when you get to that link, it's going to show you about the hotel room block as well. Um, any other questions? Oh, good. Well, okay. Um, if anybody wants to continue the conversation, I would love to. I'd love to, and I got to tell you, it's been a pleasure um, being here. I hope you can see the passion that I um, that I've given you today. And the only reason I'm passionate about it is because video and the Rainmaker Retreat they will change your life. It is not a pitch fest. It's not a trade show. It's high level education. Really hope to see you guys there. Oh, that was awesome. Thank you, Philip. I, I love your energy, too. That's probably part of what makes videos good, right? <laughs> you know what? People think that, Greg. Um, but if you look at Dan Rosenberg, um, if you go to his YouTube channel, if you go to Jerry Maggio, these guys are quiet guys. Yeah. Um, but after one or two videos, we get them to that point where they can start talking about the energy as well. But you're right. It, it, it really does help with that. But it's not necessary. It's yeah. really not. I'm just passionate about helping attorneys. <laughs> yeah. Looks like there's, there may be another, is there a couple more raised hands? I, um, I see a couple. Anyway. Yeah, I'll put uh, on here for Daniel that he can talk if he would like. Okay. If and not, then, no big hey, deal. Hey, Philip, how are you? Oh, there we go. Oh, hey. Okay, so a um, couple things. I, I would love to do this. I can't in August, but... Um, I'll, I'll, I will schedule something and whatever you do in January or December if I can. The other thing is, I, I live with a traumatic brain injury, so my speech is not always perfect. I get stuck on things. I when I get nervous, it gets really bad. Mm -hmm. uh, not really bad, but um, so like like even now I'm stumbling. Right? Um, I, I just need to help. There's an easy the answer to that. Okay. Real easy, Dan. Um, I stumble around and stutter all the time, especially if you put one of these things in front of me. I could be the best order. I could go to trial. I was on the debate team, NCAA Division I championship in college. You think I could talk and talk fast? I'll stutter and stumble with this all the time. That's why you shoot it yourself and you need a little bit of light editing. Because here's what happens when you hit the record button and then you're going through it and then you're then you stutter or stumble, right? <clears throat> this is what you do. You put your hand up so the editor knows. Well, they're watching it anyway. And then you back up a sentence and then repeat it. Okay. If you start watching YouTube videos, you'd be like, oh my goodness, I see where the clip starts and stops now. <laughs> Just like if you buy a car, if you buy a, a, a red Corvette, you start seeing red Corvettes everywhere. All right. Um, Start watching videos. You'll see a clip. And then it, it is just so natural. Our eyes don't even notice it and pick it up. But Daniel, you've got to have editing because you want your logo. You want maybe a little music in it. You want the text to come across. Maybe highlight a couple texts you saw like on that Rainmaker Retreat video. Sometimes a big text would come. That's what your editors can do. And that's the key. That's the so key. my other question is um, the Retreat 697. Yep. But what does it cost to sign up with you all to do this? For us to do these, to do a video service for you, like kind of like done for you? Like you do for Daniel. Gotcha. Gotcha. The um, other Daniel. Yep. The other Daniel, right? Um, so with him, and usually I don't talk too much on pricing, um, but with him, he was an early adopter. Um, yeah, but this. I'm wondering if we just think, you know, Oops, you know what? I think I am going on. to like, mute. So I'm wondering if we just... Okay. Yeah. Tanya was talking in the background. Sorry about that. Um, Dan pays about 2000 or 2500 bucks a month. Yep. That's his price. We got a little bit smaller package for somebody that's just dipping their toe into it. But once again, we just started adding some more things, for instance, like videos. So let's say you get four videos a month. Um, you're going to actually get eight because we take those and we slice them up into shorts. 
you're also going to get eight. Uh, you're also going to get four blog posts. You're also going to get four social media posts. You're going to have content for your newsletter. You're going to be able to put it on your website. And if you give us access, we even put it on your website and your social. So we do all the distribution for you as well. Kind of done for you. Everything we do at Rainmaker. Well, here's what we like to do. We like to educate you for the DIYers. Here's how you do it yourself. Um, Cause you can do it yourself. Um, and then we also offer, Hey, if you don't have time, there's some things that we can do for you. And that's really our approach to things. Yep. You're welcome, Daniel. Good question. Excellent. Well, thank you, Phil. I appreciate it. it. I learned a lot. We've been uh, kind of DIYing, DIYing our videos, our, you know, for a while now. And, um, you know, <laughs> the hardest thing is getting over yourself, seeing yourself and hearing yourself. It's brutal. It's just, to be honest, it's brutal, but that's okay. You get over I it. never it edit my works. own videos. I give them yeah. to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I can't stand myself on camera. And I was, yeah. I was a radio DJ through college for like two years. I couldn't stand myself on the radio either. And everybody loved yeah. it. I don't know. <laughs> Well, excellent. Thanks again for being here for all the information. Thanks everybody for joining. Um, appreciate it. We'll have another, you know, expert in another topic area here yeah. in a month or so, but appreciate you, Philip, for taking the time and yeah. Absolutely. I'll send you an email offline, Greg, so we can reconnect about a couple other things I'd like to help you with, with some of your DIYing videos. Yes. Okay. So, Thank you. Appreciate love it. Love to share it. Thanks again <laughs> for your time. Okay. All right. Thanks okay. everybody. Bye-bye.